and welcome to KDD. Edgar and I are so glad you're here because mm -hmm. all month long we've been talking about Joseph. Mm -hmm. Who? Joseph! <laughs> That's right. Great job, friends. Yes, Joseph. And you can read all about Joseph in the Bible. Yep. Yep, right here. Oh. Remember everything that happened to Joseph? Yeah. I was just looking at it. He was left in a hole and then he went to jail! Right. And so then he became he vice president of Egypt. Well, sort of. You can call it that. And he lived happily yeah. ever after. <laughs> well, Amen. Uh, the end. Yeah. Well, that's not quite the end, Edgar. What? Yeah. So today. There's more? Yeah, there's more. We're going to hear the last part of the story. Oh, okay. He gets to be president of Egypt. Yay! Well, it's, it's, it's an awesome part of the story. Is it what? Did I guess right? Mm, no, not quite. Um, do you remember Joseph's brothers? Yeah. That, that he had a lot of brothers? Oh, yeah. The they were like, mean. Get, well, I mean. Hmm. Well, Good written. Today, hmm. Joseph gets to see his brothers for the first time since they sold him into slavery. Uh-oh. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, think, do you think Joseph forgives his brothers? No. Well, mm -mm. Yeah, girl, they're his brothers. Yeah, but they're mean. Uh, did you miss what they did to him? I, the whole part I, and the slavery yeah, part? No, I didn't. It's right I here if you, wanna, if you want to reveal. But, but they're his brothers. You know, so well, let's mm. see. Well, how about we watch and see what Joseph does? Okay. Okay, but mm. first, let's all stand up together <gasps> and let's sing about God's awesome oh, yeah, plan for yeah, us. Yeah. I love right. this part. Okay, okay. here we go. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Woohoo! He's got a, he's got a, he's got a plan. He's got a, he's got a. Yes, he do. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. Let's go. I know that I can trust him. Yeah. I know that I can trust him. Yeah. No matter. Just follow me through! Who? Who? Follow me through! Follow me through who? Always got a Bible story for me and you! Ready? And go! <laughs> oh, hi friends! I'm Carrie the Dog Walker, and this is my best dog, Stormy Jane, and her friends, Goldie and Barkley. We're celebrating Ice Cream Sunday month with a doggy Sunday party. <laughs> I think they like them. <laughs> We're also celebrating because we have been learning about God's plan for Joseph, and today we get to hear the last part of his story, and it is awesome. Do you know who this is? Yep, it's Joseph. He always trusted in God's plan. And these are Joseph's 11 brothers who got super mad and jealous when their dad gave Joseph a special coat and didn't give them one. 
So they stole the coat, threw Joseph in a hole, and sent him with people who took him far away from home where he was thrown in jail. Then Joseph was taken out of jail, helped the Pharaoh learn about his dreams, and got put in charge of giving hungry people food. Wow, three cheers for God's plan. God's plan is awesome. Hip, hip, hooray. Can you say that with me? Ready? Hip, hip, hooray. One more time. Hip, hip, hooray. No matter how hard it was, Joseph knew that God loved him, that God was always with him, and that he could trust God's plan. But that's not the end of the story. There is more to God's plan. Remember Joseph's brothers? Well, now back at home, wait a minute. Stormy Jane, you're not a brother in the story. Get out of there, silly dog. That's better. Okay, so back at home, the brothers were super hungry and had no food. And guess where they had to go to get food? You got it. They had to go see Joseph because he was in charge of all the food. But they didn't know Joseph was in charge. Well, one day, Joseph was at the palace when his brothers came looking for food. Joseph was so surprised to see them. Show me your surprise face. <gasps> That's good. Joseph had a choice to make. Choice one, he could forgive his brothers and give them food to eat. Or choice two, he could just send them away hungry. What do you think God wanted Joseph to do? Choice one, you're right. That's exactly what Joseph did. Joseph forgave his brothers and gave them food to eat. He even gave them a hug and was happy to see them. It was the best ending to the story because Joseph followed God's plan. I love how Joseph followed God's plan. I want to follow God's plan, and you can too. God's plan is the best plan. Oh, hey, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who has a plan for you? God has a plan for me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who has a plan for you? God has a plan for me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. What a great story. Wow, yeah. yeah. Joseph's life really shows us that God's plan is always the best plan. Mm -hmm. God loves us so much and always has the best plan for us. What did you think about the story today, Edgar? Oh, wow, oh, wow, that was better than I thought. Yeah? Yeah, wow, that ending was even better than the one I, I thought was gonna happen, because you know why? Why? I, I realized something. Okay. Joseph's brothers were mean. They, they were mean. A long time ago. Right. And then, when they sold him into slavery into Egypt? Yeah. Well, God used that. God had a plan for Joseph. He did. Because, because, because if they didn't do that to him, if they weren't mean to him, guess what? 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 Joseph would not have been in Egypt to save everybody's life. Right? His, his family and, and, and the people of Egypt, all everybody. He was able to feed all of those wow. people. You yeah. know what's even better than being president of Egypt? He saved everybody's lives. Right? Mm -hmm. He followed God's plan and ended up saving everybody's lives. I'm glad. I'm glad he forgave you. Yeah. Me. So, so it has been an awesome month here at KDD mm -hmm. where we have been talking about God's plan. And I want to just run by again. Who has a plan for you? God has a plan for me. <laughs> That's right. Just yeah. like Joseph. You know, you're right. God loves you and he has a plan for you. And bottom line, God has a plan for me. He has a plan for you. And you. <laughs> and all of you. And you. Yes. So let's say our verse together with Miss Carrie. Okay. Okay. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29, 11. Thank you, Carrie. That's right. God has a plan for us, just like he had a plan for Joseph. Yeah. Wasn't it awesome that Joseph forgave his brothers and was able to help them? Yeah. Not just them, but everyone. Everybody. Yeah. I'm so glad that God's plan included Joseph reuniting with his family. Yeah, I know. That was kind of cool, wasn't yeah. it? And his dad. <laughs> and his, yeah, so that was awesome. Mm -hmm. All right. Until we'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey.